Now, uh, we're about to enter module two, but if you look at module one very well, try to introduce what is snail. What are the things required to just have a snail farm? What kind of land you need to have, either big or small? All depends on your interest and the resources at your disposal. We try to encourage us to know that there's a high market demand for this product we are trying to educate us on. And we try to bring to our beer that this is also an alternative source of protein to other conventional source of protein that we have known over time, including fish and coal. Now, let's look at this new biology and their behavior. We bring us to model two. So let's look at the study objective of model two. During this course, we expect us to gain a thorough understanding of snail biology, including the different phases of their life cycle. This particular uh, model covers topics such as one, the, the structure of snails, their reproduction, growth stages, and the environmental conditions they require. A deep comprehension of snail biology is crucial for creating optimal conditions for breeding and training for snail as well as for maintaining the health and productivity of the snail population. Now, unit one in this model, snail species and their characteristics. Snails are intriguing, um, intriguing creatures with distinct biology and behavior. Grasping their biology and behavior is crucial for the success of snail farming. Here are some key aspects of snail biology and behavior. Anatomy. Snail possess a soft body shielded by a spiral-shaped shell. The body consists of a head, foot, and visceral mass. The head houses sensory organs like the eyes and tentacles, aiding in detecting light and movement and environmental chemicals. The muscular foot facilitates their movement, while the visceral mass contains internal organs, shells. They have a carcarous shells that offers protection and support. The shell is produced by a specialized tissue called the mantle. It grows parallel at the snail mushrooms and serves as a shelter. The shell's color, shape, and texture may vary by species. Reproduction. Snails are hermaphrodites, meaning they possess both male and female reproductive organs. Nevertheless, they still require a mate for successful reproduction. During mating, snails exchange sperm, fertilizing each other's egg. Following mating, snails lay eggs in suitable substrates, which subsequently hatch into juvenile snails. Growth and development. Snails continue to grow throughout their lives, albeit at a slower rate. Once they reach maturity, the pace of growth varies depending on factors such as species, temperature, and food availability. Environmental conditions like temperature, and humility can also impact their development and ashing of snail's egg. Feeding behavior. Snails are herbivores, primarily feeding on a variety of plant material. They employ on a specialized feeding organ called a radula to scrub and consume plants. Snails are renowned for their substantial appetites, capable of consuming a significant amount of vegetables relative to their sizes. Locomotions. Snails move through rhythmic muscular contraction of their foot, leaving a mucous trail that reduces friction and ease in their movement. Snails can move in various directions, including forward, backward, and sideways. Their deliberate, slow paced movement is attributed to the expansion and contraction of their muscular foot. Sensory perception. Snails possesses a well-developed sensory system, featuring two pairs of tentacles on their heads. The upper pair bears eyes, which detect light and movement, aiding snails in navigating their environment and assessing potential, uh, potential threats. The lower pair of tentacles serve for tentacles and olfactory perception, allowing snails to perceive their surroundings and locate food. Estivation and abination. Snails have the ability to enter a state of dormancy through adverse environmental conditions. Estivation occurs in response to hot and dry conditions. Through which snails seal themselves inside their shell and reduce their metabolic activity. Hibernation, conversely, takes place in reaction to cold temperature, with snails retreating into their shells and slowing down bodily functions. Understanding snail 
biology and behavior is paramount for providing proper care and management in snail farming. This knowledge helps create suit suitable environmental conditions, optimizing feeding practices, and identifying signs of health or reproductive issues. By considering their natural behavior and needs, snail farmers can ensure the well-being and productivity of their snail population. There exist numerous snail species worldwide, each distinguished by unique characteristics and adaptation. Here are some well-known snail species and their key traits. Elix aspasa or garden snail. One of the, it's one of the most recognized snail species. It boasts, it boasts of a brownish yellow shell with dark aspiral bands. Garden snails are typically 1 to 1.5 inches in diameter, characterized by slow movement and commonly found in gardens, among other outdoor environments. They are herbivores, <coughs> consuming various plant materials. Halix pomatia, or Roman snails, also known as the boundary snails. This species is larger than the garden snail, with shells reaching up to 2 to 3 inches in diameter. Their shells are typically light brown, with darker spiral bands. Roman snails, native to Europe, are valued for their culinary use, grow slowly, and are herbivores. Acatina folica, giant African land snail. Among the largest land snails, they can grow shells up to seven inches in length. They possess conical shells with brownish stripes and are known in East Africa, but introduced to various regions. These generalist feeders can consume a wide range of plants and are known for rabbit growth. Conno aspersum, or which you normally call brown snail or garden snail. Similar in appearance to Elix aspasa, but often with darker shells, also known as European brown snails. They are commonly found in garden and agriculturally uh, developed areas feeding on vegetation. Brown garden snails have a high tolerance for diverse climatic and are high widely distributed. Otala latia, milk snails. Milk snails exhibit creamy white shells with spiral bands. Native to the Mediterranean region, they are frequently found in agricultural areas and feed on varieties of plant. They are relatively small with shell measuring around 1 to 1.5 inches in diameter. Pomacia ponaliculata, which you normally call apple snail. These freshwater snails are found in various parts of the world and possesses a distinctive, distinctive rounded or apple shaped shell, often brownish or golden in color. Apple snails are voracious feeders, consume aquatic plants, algae, and decaying organic matters. This example represents just a fraction of snail species, each characterized by distinct features, including size, shell shape, and color, habitat preferences, feeding habitat, and reproductive characteristics. When engaging in snail farming or working with snail, it is crucial to research and understand the specific traits and requirements of the species at hand to ensure optimal care and management. Thank you. <music>